video of a fisherman catching and beating a shark to death is now prompting the Indian Harbor Beach government to tighten fishing rules. West Street's Brevard County Bureau Chief Scott Heidler spoke with the city manager about the changes they are considering. While this video shocked many across Central Florida, it stirred an outcry in the Brevard coastal community of Indian Harbor Beach, where it happened on December 20th. A fisherman caught what appeared to be a five-foot shark, clubbed it to death with a hammer, then tossed it back into the ocean. To, to kill a large fish like that and then just discard it as trash, it upset a lot of people. The state attorney's office is still investigating, and there was little the city's police department could do. So the local government taking measures to prevent it from ever happening again. In Florida, unless law enforcement sees something happening, there's limited... Uh, enforcement tools and so we reviewed our ordinances and realized that there was ways we could strengthen it. This is where the incident took place at Bicentennial Beach Park. The city saying they are going to extend the no fishing zones in the two parks here in Indian Harbor Beach. That's in addition to implementing a civil fine in addition to the existing misdemeanor. The first reading of the revisions is next Tuesday, and they could go into effect by the end of next month. And so we're hoping with this increased awareness that if folks, if they see somebody fishing, will call our police department when, it, when it's happening and not wait for uh, a tragedy like that to happen again. In Indian Harbor Beach, Scott Heidler, West 2 News.